I know, guys, it's uh, me, Dan, back again. Um, no intro today, no proper gameplay today. There's only one thing that we need to talk about, and that is obviously the Super League and all of that rubbish uh, that's happened the last couple of days, which I cannot believe what has just happened in the last couple of days. I seriously cannot believe what has happened. Um, from going, you know, watching the United game on uh, Man United. It all start, let's just start from the beginning. It all started um, literally, what, on Sunday, um, half-time between... Literally, yeah, literally at half time, uh, when the United game was on, um, there was talk of this European Super League where a couple of clubs from Europe, um, for example, AC Milan, Inter Milan, I think it was Ju Juventus, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, and then the obviously the big six in quotations, uh, Spurs, Arsenal, Man United, Man City, Liverpool. And, uh, wait, yeah, Spurs, Man City, Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, yeah, that's the one. Um, I thought it was a load of rubbish. Um, you guys can check out my tweets on it. I, at, I'm at Dan the CBA Gamer. Uh, if you want to go follow me on that, I do tweet I do tweet a lot on that, and, um, it is my personal, um, twitter account so if you want to go follow me you know go follow me and you can go read tw read the tweets um literally i thought it was just a load of rubbish you know just coming out of papers and stuff because obviously we had that before you know with the big um what was it like the big push or something like um couple weeks like wasn't it a, a year ago or something like that um that came out like literally before the start of the um the new season or something it was something planned um but obviously it never come to uh to intuition um so then there was that but yeah we you know i was just you know ple pleasantly watching united and then all that all that came out and then literally sunday evening after the game obviously united won 3-1 against them it all come out that united will be leaving the UEFA um clubs it's like a, it's called the ECA pretty much and um, apparently United were all going to leave it you know the City and Chelsea and Arsenal all the big six were going to leave and um we they was all going to form this European Super League it was all confirmed um Fl Florentino Perez was going to be the president of it and then obviously Joel Glazer was going to be the vice chairman with the Juventus uh, chairman Ag Agnelli I think his name is um, so when that came out I thought oh my days literally oh my days what is going on even if you uh, if you've not seen it there Gary Neville what a player what a you know what a pundit he is you know he's a really good player for us as well you know he just if you haven't seen like it's a 10 minute video you go go watch it on Sky Sports Football it's it's a massive rant, and I totally totally agreed with him. You know, spoke the facts. You know, Roy Keane was there as well. Mika Richards was there on that day uh, on Sky Sports when I watched it, and I literally cannot believe it. What was coming out on uh, Saturday Sunday night? So obviously uh, Monday morning, it all come out saying that you know we're not going to back down. This is not going to go away. You know, we won't we won't be playing in Europa League. And then, obviously, uh, UEFA actually come out and said that they'll be starting banning players as well Monday. Um, they won't be playing, you know, in any competitions starting from uh, this season onwards. Um, that's, so, that's the World, Club, World Cup. That's the Euros. You know, pretty much all of the players who were playing for this big six. And I just literally could not believe what I was hearing. You know, even, you know, UEFA is just as bad as this. You know, it all comes down. What it all comes down to is, obviously, um, the big six clubs, you know, they want a bit more money from UEFA because of the Champions League. It's, you know, the Champions League, okay, it's not the best competition, but, you know, they deserve, they thought they deserve more money. And that's why they kind of went for it. And the, uh, the greedy... Well, yeah, I'm just going to say it, The greedy cunts, really, um, come out, you know... And said that they are pushing for this European Super League, and I literally cannot believe what I was hearing. You know, 
all the fans, literally every fan was going absolutely mental. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's talk of Tuesday. Let get we get to Tuesday morning. Um, there's talk of maybe because of the reaction, there might be um, there might be something that you know there might be a club that might be coming out. Um, obviously, from Monday night as well, we saw the fans protest in the Liverpool uh, Leeds game which I thought was really uh, good from the Liverpool fans. And then, literally, like I said, there was talk Tuesday of uh, one of the clubs, you know, not entering. Um, all over Twitter, you know, they were saying Chelsea, Man City is going to be one of them too. Um, and then come towards the evening, you know, United... Um, not United, Chelsea played uh, Leeds and... Yeah, the Chelsea fans, well done to the Chelsea fans. Um, they, you know, they, I thought it was only going to be like a couple of few, but I think there's about a thousand, two thousand fans. If you've not seen it, um, it was live streamed on YouTube. It was literally, I was literally watching it. I just could not believe. Even uh, Petr Cech came out and said, you know, come out and said to them, you know, we need to know, you need to move, you know, the coaches need to come in. Um, we'll, we'll need to sort it. And it, you know, he was speaking facts. Obviously, you know, the fans were pissed at the, you know, pretty much. <laughs> I think some of them were pissed. You know, you see all the uh, beer bottles and stuff like that. But, you know, you kind of need that um, with um, protests. And what a protest it was. Because literally, right before the game, there was talk of Chelsea coming out, of pulling out of the, e e well, the European Super League. And I just, yeah, I don't know. It was just, I don't know. And then there was just talk of literally halfway through the Chelsea game, Man City were coming out of it. They were pulling out of it. And then literally all weekend, all, like all all last night, I just don't know what happened. It, it seems like, you know, um, they finally listened to us fans and... Um, you know the state shareholders and all that, and thank thank God they did. Thank God they did. But it's a it is a huge victory for us fans. I think it's not UEFA's victory. It's not FIFA's victory. You know, because UEFA UEFA's probably paid uh, paid you know all these teams to come back out. Because apparently uh, UEFA have had of making like a seven billion six billion euro. Um, you know, six billion euro changes to the Champions League, so maybe something, maybe that convinced them to you know drop out of the Premier League, even the Premier League as well. Uh, there was talk about you know they come out on Tuesday of uh, the rest of the fourteen clubs. You know they even come out and said something about you know there will be consequences. You know, really good consequences as well. Uh, especially towards the owners and the ring leaders, and we all know who the ring leaders are, um, especially if you're a United fan. Um, and yeah, literally, what, like I said, Man City then confirmed they have, you know, started to started the process to withdraw from the European Super League, yep, Super League, the European Super League, and thank God. They did because all uh, that took, you know, that pretty much put the nail on the coffee. And as soon as one went, you know, the rest of them are going to come back towards the Premier League. And thank God they did. And finally, we saw right. And we also, for a Man United's perspective, we also saw the res resignation of Edward Wood. Um, apparently, it was coming anyway. But I don't. I think that's a load of bullshit. Um, I think they. I think I think Joel Glazer's. I think I think Edward would. I think this was his plan. I think this was his plan. He was the ringleader. He was, you know, he wanted more money. You know, he was he was saying to Joel Glazer's and all that. He was saying we can really grab some a lot of money. Even um, J P Morgan was in with it as well. Obviously, J P Morgan. If you don't know, uh, as a United fan, they helped. They helped. Um, the Glazers by Manchester United in 2005. Um, I, I think they, bothered, they borrowed like 700 million or something. 
Um, so yeah, that was definitely something. And as as well, um, you know, Edward would used to work for them, so that's why you know he kind of went into the United team as the you know chief director and stuff like that. Um, so then that was that, and then that was really good. You know, that put I'm I was so pleased that that came out that it's a, he's saying res, he's resigning. Um, apparently there is talk that he might be resigning at the end of the season. Um, but there also is talk that he might stay until the end of the year. Um, hopefully it's by the end of the season. And I think it might be because, you know, I think there's something on and I think maybe we could be seeing, you know, we could be seeing the Glazers sell Manchester United. I think that's probably it because, they were the ringleaders. It was Liverpool, um, the F, F the FSG, the owners of Liverpool. Um, you know they've they were a part of it as well. It's Liverpool, Real Madrid, Manchester United. Apparently, it was also um, it was also uh, Arsenal as well. But I just I literally just could not believe what was coming out on Sunday night and. The way that, like um, some of the fan, some of the um, European, the European Super League uh, chiefs and all that were saying, like you know, we fans were legacy fans. You know, we're part of the old history, and we want to make new history and stuff like that. You, you know, we want to make new teams and stuff like that. I just, that's what I saw personally. Like, it was going to be like the NFL or something like that. And then you just can't have the NFL. You can't, you know, work this into into um, into the football as it is as, at the moment. I just can't see, you know, I just couldn't see how the European Super League was going to work with the, you know, with the UEFA and all that. I, I just thought... You know, maybe they had a chance it was going to go through with it. But then as soon as I heard, as soon as I saw on Twitter on Tuesday morning that, you know, one of the clubs are very, um, are very agitated by the fans, um, by the fans reaction. And thank God us fans did say something. Literally, it, it's, it amazes me how, you know, how collected we all became, especially in the UK. You know, us Liverpool fans, us United fans, we just, you know, we can tap we can tap our shoulders, you know. We can say something about that, but I just, literally, I just could not believe that. And then, obviously, they all came out with statements late last night, United and Arsenal and um, and Tottenham and uh, Chelsea. And, uh, well, I don't know if Chelsea did or not. I think they did because, obviously, they just played a game, so they couldn't really do much. But City... City were the first club uh, to come out and say, you know, we're leaving. Um, I don't think there was an apology from the City board. But, I don't know. Um, I just think, you know, it all came out. Um, it, the Arsenal, um, I I like the Arsenal statement. Um, they actually came out and apologised to the... Um, to the Arsenal fans and saying you know they had a mis- they made a mistake a massive mistake and they apologised for it um, so that was big regards to them I, to, you know to the Arsenal board there but from United and Liverpool um, okay Liverpool actually got a um, Liverpool actually got an apology from the owner this morning which personally I think I think that was forced I think that was forced uh, from maybe from the players and also let's talk about the players as well I didn't even mention the players yesterday Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, um, Harry Maguire. I think, you know, Jordan Henderson as well. You know, James Milner as well on um, Monday night. You know, Patrick Bamford as well. He came out and said to the, um, you know, came out and said a load of stuff as well. But, I'd, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, again, like again, like they said this morning... You know, uh, the Liverpool owners came out and apologised. Uh, I think it was John Henry. I think he's come out and apologised. I think it's, I, th- I think it's forced. I don't think he means that at all. Um, personally, it was, it was just like the owners really, who wanted a bit more money. They wanted more money to come out of our club, and I just could not believe. You know, 
when Joel, especially when Joel Glazer came out and said all this stuff, and I don't know, it's it's just it's it's just so annoying that all of this has come out, and I I don't know, it's just I was so annoyed, I literally so annoyed, um, I literally could not believe. Also, uh, the United United haven't really come out and said anything uh, apart from last night, you know, saying that they won't be. Uh, doing this Euro- European Super League, obviously now as well, especially this morning. Um, I think Inter Milan have pulled out, Atletico Madrid have pulled out. I think Real Madrid. I think they're waiting for the fans to say something, but I think I think it's not going to happen now. Obviously with AC Milan and all that, there's, there's that's not going to happen. And you know, it was a, it was a, okay. It wasn't the best idea, you know. There's better ideas. I get that they want to re- they want to reform the UEFA Champions League. I get that, but the way they did it, it just shows that you know these are owners. They think they've got the power, but they haven't. You know, therefore, you know, United and Liverpool belongs to they. You know, the football clubs belong to the fans, and I hope. I really do hope that um Boris Johnson actually comes out and the government comes out and say you know we're going to bring in like a system with the fans where the fans partly own uh the clubs like they do in Germany you know I think it's called the 50 plus 1 rule I really do hope they bring that out so then if this ever happens again you know they have to get the fans approval um and that that includes all of the Premier League I think all of the Premier League um I think actually, do you know what? You know, I think that counts for all the clubs, really, all the uh, teams that you know have rich owners. They need to give some power. They either you know make a position in the club, saying you know have like head of fan support or something like that. I don't know. It's something like that. They just need to. They just need to get something. They need to add something. But I don't know. Um, but as a United fan, we need. To, uh, I think we need to get rid of the Glazers. I think they are the poison chalice that started all this. I think it was. Hit, I think it was Joel Glazer, Ed Woodward, um, the Real Madrid president. You know, I think John Henry just followed. Um, you know, um, Joel Glazer just because they wanted a bit more money and the amount of money they've you know bought out of United and even. Um, Gary Neville said last night, you know, Ed Woodward was only the trunk, a tree of, you know, trunk of the tree. We need to go for the roots. And I think there is a protest as well. Uh, I think hopefully, hopefully a load of, uh, hopefully a load of fans can go. I am th- actually thinking of going personally um, on Saturday at three o'clock, apparently outside the Trinity Stadium, a uh, Trinity uh, statue, not stadium, well, outside the stadium, uh, you know, but thank God, uh, thank God we have pulled out, and I just hope that the government does, you know, does do something, does bring in a rule in that, you know, something like that. So fan, you know, they must include, you know, like big decisions like that, they must include a fan's answer. If the fan, if they don't, you know, ask the fans, if they don't, you know, put a poll out or something like that, you know. Just to see, you know, even just, you know, even just contacting the season ticket holders, you know, see what they say, you know, does you, you know, say, I don't know, in the future they want to create a new state, create a new, I don't know, what's a big decision? Just say they they want to leave the Premier League or something like that. They need to, you know, they need to come out with something like that to ask the fans. Um, I think that's that's what they need. They need to bring in a rule. Any big changes, any big ownerships, any big spending, or any like anything like that, they need to ask the fans first. Um, they need the fans' approval, and that's how, that's what I hope that does come in, uh, like a government law, a government legislation, or something like that. But I, again, I'm not really into politics, but I just hope they bring something in like that uh, to the football game, especially in England, um, where we do need it. And fingers crossed, you know. Maybe now we could be looking at new owners soon. Hopefully, I'm fi- hopefully we need to get them out. Um, they're just they're just poison. They're scavengers. They're greedy cunts. 
I don't know. Um, sorry about swearing. I know it's a bit of a long video as well today. I wasn't going to bring it out. Uh, that's kind of why I didn't also stream on Monday. I was going to stream on Monday. Uh, but I think we're just going to leave it now till the weekend uh, for the next stream of the uh, past and present um, for AC Milan. That's, what, that's why I kind of thought, you know, we can't really do much. And Anyway, so that's uh, my opinion. Of my opinion, really, I just think it's a load of... It, it, like even Pep Guardiola said the other day, it's it, why have a group, you know, why have the big six? Even the, I don't get why, you know, I'm not being rude to Arsenal or Spurs, but they haven't won a Champions League. You know, they had Ajax. They, had, they could have offered Ajax. PSG, Bayern Munich, you know, PSG and Bayern Munich rejected it. You know, even like Sporting Lisbon or Benfica, they didn't even offer that. Uh, Porto came out and said they had not joined in. And thank God, you know, these big clubs did come out and say something. Because without they without them saying something, I think that kind of pushed it towards the Premier League. And um, there is talk of, like, fines going towards the owners. Um, there is talk of maybe points deduction but personally it's not it's nothing to do with a club it is literally just the ringleaders it's literally just the american owners really it's just you know the fsg the glazers cronky stan cronky it's all that lot that need to be punished um i don't know how they're gonna do it but i just hope they either get hit by a huge massive fine or something like that it's nothing to do with the clubs you know the players, the manager, the you know, even the staff, there's nothing to do with them. It was just Ed Woodward, you know, Joel Glazer and everyone else. And I just, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go on to that because that's a totally different video. Um, they were the ringleaders. They need to be punished. And he has been punished. We've got one of them out. We need to get the Glazers out. We, can't, we, we just can't have them anymore as Manchester United. If there's any, you know, you know, millionaires billionaires watching i doubt there is but you know do us a favor get them out of the club either you know help us uh, talking of millionaires apparently uh conor mcgregor came out and said i might go ahead and buy man united and i re retweeted it and said you know get yeah go on lad make us you know you know go ahead and buy us save us because we need sa we do need saving um we need a proper you know we need a proper owner proper football owner um, to come and you know buy the Glazers out. I know they can buy shares. Um, I know a couple of weeks ago there was uh some some people I I can't remember who it was. You know, there apparently there's talk of a new bid coming in. Um, but you know we just need to get rid of them. They they can't stay in the Premier League. Um, I know most of the Liverpool fans as well want the uh want the um their new owners to be you know want the new owners to sell their shares in the club and just leave um obviously that's a big decision you know it's not going to happen overnight but hopefully you know the next couple of days will you know the fans will keep you know keep moaning at the club you know we want personally as well they even need to come out with an apology man united which is so rubbish you know, we deserve an apology as the fans. And, you know, even I get that they forced um, John Henry to make a an apology. Where's Joel Glazer in this? You know, he never speaks about United. He doesn't know who United are. You know, he I, I doubt he even, I doubt even he knows, you know, I doubt even he knows. I don't, I, you know, I doubt he's even spoke to Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. I doubt. I really do doubt that. I think it's all, you know... We've got rid of the puppet. We just need to get rid of the puppet master. And that is, you know, the Glazers, Joel Glazer. Um, I know that, you know, a couple of the other Glazers do have shares in it. But I, apparently, like, the other Glazer family, you know, they don't really... Um, they just own, like, little shares in the club. It is mainly... I think it's mainly Joel Glazer who's got most of the uh, money, uh, most of the, the um, shares in the club. Because, obviously, um, Malcolm Glazer, who originally bought it, um, originally passed away. Didn't he pass away like two years ago or something like that? But um, yeah, I don't know. One of the two. We definitely need to sort it out, and hopefully in the next couple, the next couple of days, next weeks, 
maybe we might see new owners at United. Fingers crossed, touch wood, there will be some progress. And But we just need to get them out. You know, all this talk of the European, European Super League is ridiculous. And thank God, you know, the clubs have pulled out. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't see this ever again. Uh, because, personally, if this happens again, whilst the Glazers are here, I can't support Man United. I literally cannot. I was, uh, Literally on Sunday, Sunday slash Monday, I was thinking of giving up, of giving up watching football, you know, not watching football at all. Um, maybe, you know, watch the local, you know, some of the local teams that I can support, you know, but not like, not like a proper United supporter. Not like I am, you know, where I go to games. I go to, obviously, we haven't been to games forever, but I go to games, you know, I support the club. I buy the, I buy the shirts. It's, it's just a load of rubbish. And I just hope that it doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah, guys, if you are a Manchester United fan, keep tw- keep tweeting out. You know, hashtag Glazers out. Hashtag Glazers next. Get rid of them. They need to go out. They need to get rid of them. Um, even the Liverpool fans. Even if you're a Liverpool fan as well, you want to get rid of your owners. I think it's uh, FSG hashtag FSG out. Just keep trending, keep them trending, you know, make them notice, you know, make them that we're not happy with the clubs. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't be, I won't be making this video again. I rarely do bring out videos like this. But I just feel after the last couple of days, we, I just needed, I needed to, I needed to moan. And hopefully, you know, you guys will understand. And... Again, like I said, fingers crossed, we shall be back again. And, you know, we'll be back to normal soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyway, guys, I am actually going to end it here for today. Um, We will be back um, on Friday. We've got a match day live, haven't we, to talk about. Um, I won't mention anything there. Um, You know, I might just mention a couple of things that happens the next couple of days. So... Fingers crossed, you know, something happens. Maybe something happens. But um, if you guys want, you know, want to get in contact with me, use Twitter. Um, I, I'm at, at Dan, the CBA Gamer. It's in my description. It's in the description. Go follow me. You know, I do tweet out quite a lot. I do tweet out quite a lot of the games as well. Um, go follow me on that. And, um, yeah. So there we go. So right, guys, I'm actually going to end it here. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Friday. So right, guys, I'm going. See you later. Bye.